Hello everybody. The topic I'm going to explain to you today is oligopoly. And before explaining this topic, I would suggest all of you to uh, bring three main important books for A2 level economics. And if whenever you study, you start studying when you are sitting on the table, you must have these three books. And these three books include number one is Comprehensive Economics, A2 level, which includes micro and macro as well. And the second book is Topical Paper 3. And the third book is Topical Paper 4. And now moving to our topic that is oligopoly. Oligopoly is a market structure in which there are just a few sellers in the market. Number of sellers in the market are few. Firms are definitely large in size, but they are a few in number. Entry and exit is restricted because the existing firms do not allow the new firms to enter the industry easily and they use multiple aggressive tactics. They also use the policy of predatory pricing policy that is also known as limit pricing and they use aggressive tactics to avoid new firms to enter the industry. Price settings, they set price as per the price war, the rule of price war or they may set price uh, with mutual understanding with each other. Sometimes what they do is they make cartel and they decide the price and all of the sellers charge exactly the same price. But in some cases, there might be price war as well. Uh, then products, uh, nature of product include homogeneous products or heterogeneous products. Homogeneous products mean the products are same, they are identical, they are highly standardized or they might be naturally identical. And heterogeneous products means the products may work exactly in the same fashion, but they might be differentiated from each other. For example, in case of uh, Honda and Toyota cars, we can see all of them work in the same fashion, but what we can do is we can easily differentiate between them uh, based on the color, shape, or size, etc. Then firms basically focus on brand proliferation, which means they produce variety of products sometimes. And what they, why they do this, they do this to reduce the risk of loss. Whenever there is loss in the production of one product, that loss is cross-subsidized, cross-subsidized. And then examples of uh, this market structure in Pakistan include like telecommunication companies, including Yofon, Varit, Telenor, and etc. These are the companies which are a few in number, but they are large in size. Predatory or limit pricing policy is again one of the main uh, important feature of this market structure. What this pricing policy means, they lower their prices to avoid entry of new firms in, into the market. And they also collude with each other, means they combine their policies, they charge same prices, they, they reduce output in the market. And then is efficiency. They are inefficient firms because they know whatever cost they face, they can cover it by charging high prices. So they are not economically inefficient. So we, we call these firms as economically inefficient firms. Price leadership is again a prominent feature of this market structure and price leadership is a phenomena in which one firm is in the position to change the price and if it reduces its price, all other firms will follow it. The firm which has lowest market price is basically known as price leader. So we can show this with a graph on why we have price, revenue and cost and on x-axis we have output or quantity. And we can draw an average revenue curve, which is common average revenue curve for, for example, if there are two firms, firm A and B, if there are two firms in the market, firm A and firm B, then average revenue curve is taken as common average revenue curve for both of the firms. We think that both of the firms have exactly the same average revenue. But their marginal revenue is different, and we can draw two different lines for for them, let's say this is marginal revenue of firm B and this is marginal revenue of firm A. Marginal revenue of firm A. 
marginal revenue of b and we can also take a common marginal cost curve this is common for firm a as well as well as b so equilibrium of firm b will take place where marginal cost curve intersects marginal revenue of firm b that is this point and we can see that firm b will be producing q quantity q b quantity of goods and services and it will be charging price pb but on the same uh, way we can identify the equilibrium of marginal uh, equilibrium of firm b by inter finding intersection point of marginal revenue and marginal cost of firm a so this will be the output of firm a shown with yellow line and this will be the price of firm b firm a sorry price of firm a so we can see that price of firm a is lower than the price of firm b so pr firm a will be considered as a uh, market leader and firm b will be the follower and um, the next point is profit maximizing graph we can make graph to show profit profit maximizing point of uh, oligopoly firms and this is a little bit different graph as compared to other market structures and what is the difference the difference is because of price war and price war is a situation in which if one firm reduces its price others will follow it and if one firm um, reduces its price and other firms follow it then average revenue curve becomes steeper and it results in kink in demand curve so while making graph of average revenue curve you have to keep in mind that first you have to make graph a little bit flatter and when price war starts it becomes steeper like this and this point is a kink in demand curve we call this point as kink in demand curve and this is average revenue and average revenue is also known as demand curve uh at king if we draw perpendicular to find out quantity let's say for this quantity how much price firms will charge and how much out uh marginal cost will be there and for uh drawing for drawing equilibrium we need two more lines one is marginal revenue curve and the other one is marginal cost curve we know that marginal revenue curve is always negatively sloped and it is the shadow of average revenue and for the time being we we discontinue it and then we again draw marginal revenue below average revenue curve so this is marginal revenue curve marginal revenue discontinues from point a to b for the time being why it discontinues there there is a technical graph for that explain technical explanation for that but Uh, as a simple explanation i can tell you here that we have to discontinue marginal revenue curve because if we do not do so then marginal revenue will intersect uh, will intersect average revenue if we continue this line marginal revenue line like this then it will intersect uh, average revenue curve and technically it is not possible that marginal revenue will be greater than average revenue or marginal revenue will intersect average revenue because marginal revenue is the shadow of average revenue and if we don't discontinue it then it will intersect marginal revenue and again it is it is against the basic principle i'm making this graph once again this is average revenue which is flat then it is steep now because of price war and king rises at this point this is average revenue or uh this is average revenue or demand curve or demand curve and from king we can draw a perpendicular showing quantity here and on y axis we have price revenue and cost three variables and this is quantity produced marginal revenue is the shadow of average revenue and it will discontinue from point a to b this is let's say point a and this is point b and now if marginal cost curve intersects marginal revenue curve from any point this continuous point between a and b then equilibrium is set let's say at this point at point e and quantity you can see is q and price will remain rigid at p similarly if marginal cost cuts anywhere between point a and b then 
you can see quantity will not change and price will also remain the same so this is the graph of profit maximization in oligopoly market structure